clock is ticking and I'm getting tired. I'm about to abandon my climb when the sun comes out and gives me a glimmer of hope. Suddenly, I spot something in the outer branches. I think I see a snake. So I, I just gotta find out if I can get to. As I edge nearer, I can hardly believe my eyes. A giant amethystine python is only a few feet away. I've never had to deal with such a big snake so high up, but I have to get my photos. I've got him. I've got him. Man, he's big. That's the biggest amethystine I've ever seen, but I'll have to come lower. You cannot get him out the tree like this. Man, he's strong. He's incredibly strong, and he keeps knotting himself in the tree. There we are. I got him. I got him. Almost got it. And he's being really tight around my throat as well. God, he's strong. It's a slender snake. They're climbing snakes. If it were an Indian or an African python, he'd be a lot heavier in body, but these guys are climbers. So they are much more slender, but to make up for that, they've got three times the muscle. I can't let him close my windpipe. Okay, there, that's better. Wow, it's a matter of ropes and ropes and cameras and stuff, but there he is. I actually got him at last after all this time. I mean, I've climbed about a hundred trees to find one of these guys. And look at him. Look how the tail keeps grabbing onto me. There's just no way to get him loose, actually, once he's got you. Ah, let me try. I can't even... I can't talk properly while he's around me like this. I'm going to have to let go of the head and hope he doesn't bite. And just see if I can open him up a bit. Oh, there we go. Wow, look at that boy. Isn't he gorgeous? They are fantastic snakes. Amethystine python. These are the biggest pythons that you get in Australia. And they've been recorded up to something like 28 foot. But these days, I don't think you'd be able to find one maybe more than 18 foot if you're lucky. And I'm guessing this guy, if I stretch him out, might make 14, which is pretty big. But he's constricting my hand. Look at that. Look how he's tied my hand. Can you see that? I can't even, I can't even close my hand because of the blood pressure. They're so incredibly powerful, these snakes. I have to just get him off there. Look at that. Don't bite me. He's been pretty well behaved otherwise. But obviously, he's cl clinging on to everything he can. I'll just get my hand out of there. Usually it's a snake this size should be on the ground. I mean, the stuff they feed on is quite big. This guy can eat wallabies and stuff like that. He can eat something the size of your pet dog. No problem at all. But the reason he's up in the tree is looking for warmth. Oh God, I've got to get this guy off my neck. He's knotted in the back. And if I don't get him loose, he will strangle me. That's for sure. Just let me get him out of here. Okay. That's a frightening position, let me tell you because he knots at the back and he's pulling across here. There's nothing you can do and I'm way up in this tree. I've got to get him loose. I can't see where he's knotted. Okay, I've got to, I've got to put my strength in here. Oh, oh that's, that's, that's a bit hairy. If that happened up here, I'd be in real trouble. All right. Now, the thing is, I'd like to get some pictures of this guy. After all this trouble, after all this time climbing these trees, and I need to take some pictures. And the way to do that is if I can get him to just balance on this tree over here. Look at that, isn't that incredible strength? Look at the strength, he can just hold his body straight out. See that? Hold his body straight out. But let me put him around this branch and put him back up here, there we go. He's really been good otherwise, he hasn't tried to bite me. Well, having said that, just be careful because they are known to be quite bitey. There are boy, you okay? Yeah, okay. Look at that, isn't that fantastic? Oh, he's really nice, he's flickering his tongue. There we go. My first picture. After all these tree climbing days, my first picture. Okay, and back he comes. There we go. That's what I want. Ah. Slight lunge. He's a little bit upset now. Just wanting to get hold of me. Just wanting to get hold of me. Just wants to get on his way. Doesn't want me to mess around with him anymore. He says I've done all the things I want to do. And I don't want to come too close because he's going to bite onto the camera for sure. But he's got such a perfect chance for a picture. Look at that shot. Straight into his face. Isn't that incredible? You okay now? Yeah. Well, he's calmed down a little bit. Long as it can't. Oh, oops. oops, still a little bit upset. Oh no, hang on. Just a little bit upset. Mustn't let him bite you. Definitely all the pythons give you a nasty bite. No venom apparatus here, but a nasty bite. Not something you want to get bitten by. Fantastic shot. 
That's perfect, absolutely perfect. Wow, what a boy. Hey, no, no. Come on, bring your head up, bring your head up. He's actually threatening to strike. He's had a bit enough of me now. I've got no problem with you. If I fool around with him, he's gonna let me have it, hey? I can see that, yeah? Absolutely incredible. Couldn't ask for anything more than that. This is the way to take pictures right up here in the trees. And back he comes, there we go. That's what I want. Hang back, there he goes, right up the tree, like a shot. See how feel fast he climbs. Look how easily he does that. Incredible. This guy can really move. He's got fantastic power. Let's see if I can get to his tail. The tail is so prehensile, it winds around anything and grips onto anything that it touches with no effort at all. See that? Always making a knot. Whatever you do, makes a knot automatically. So he hangs on to anything. Even if the whole snake's body dropped out of the tree, you could hang on that just like that. It's fantastic. Look at that perfect knot there. See that? Unbelievable. They are so well designed. Okay, and then for climbing, typical fashion. You see how he coils up the body in sections, pushes the head forward, and then brings the next coil up and then pushes forward again. You'll see how he does that very easily. See the curves he has here and the next curve coming here? From there, you just push forward, push forward, and keep going. He doesn't have to stop. He could go vertically up a tree, right up a tree like that if he, if he needed to. Are you okay? What I'm going to do is just give him a little tickle. See, tickle him a little bit. And he gets the feeling that it's time to go. Watch him. Watch his movements. Unbelievable. Just tickle him a bit and let him go. Wow. Question is now, can I get down from here and can I get out of here? 